hi everyone good morning and welcome back to my channel welcome to all of my new subscribers and welcome back to my old subscribers this is jody and i'm here with the unboxing of the april 2023 boxy charm by ipsy now if you've watched my previous video you would know that i had planned on pausing the subscription and i did i paused the subscription i paused it right after that i did that video i canceled my beauty boost and I paused for April. It even took me to that last page on the um, app that tells you that your next box will be the preceding month. Like it told me my next box will be in May. But lo and behold, on the 31st, I get a charge and I'm like, what is going on? So I don't know if I paused it too early. And when I paused it, the BoxyCharm Ipsy merge wasn't 100%. And maybe what I paused was a defunct Glam Bag Plus, which still left my BoxyCharm subscription open, which is what I believe happened because here it is. I got charged for it. I didn't get charged for the beauty boost. That I got an email that the cancellation went through. But um, yeah, so I got charged and that was the Friday. And I was like, you know what? To hell with it. Let's see how different or what new things will happen with this box and so i got it and absolutely nothing has changed so except for the package it comes in so this is the box it comes in now so i don't know if it's going to be forever this is what it's going to come in but it's the ipsy box it just says to you from you and when you open it it says discover yourself and it actually came with a newsletter so the newsletter is titled BoxyCharm by Ipsy and it says same great subscription you know and love now with more perks than ever. And inside it tells you about deals that's going on. It says there's daily deals, there's monthly deals and quarterly. And it talks about personalizing your picks and how that there's more choices than ever. And it talks about the power picks, which is the regular picks that they usually pick for us. And then there's some dates here at the bottom. It says April 10th is when the mega drop shop is going to open. And at April 17th, I'm sorry if my camera doesn't focus. Will you focus? No. There's a Mother's Day sale, the 24th, a flash sale, excuse me, a flash sale. May 1st, it says a May theme reveal, I guess for um the icon box. And May 2nd to the 3rd, you build your box for the icon box. And in the back of the newsletter, it's about the new chief, uh, I guess a blurb from the new chief makeup artist, Ash K. Home. And then there's some info about the next icon box, which is going to be curated by Anastasia Beverly Hills and I believe her daughter. So yeah, that's everything. So we're just going to jump right in. Um, it comes with all of this um, cut up paper, whatever you want to call that. So first things first, this is what Ipsy chose for me, which I don't mind at all whatsoever, which I actually genuinely prefer is an origins serum. I've tried body products from origins. I never tried beauty products. I don't believe, but this is the ginseng into the glow brightening serum i'm all for a serum anything brightening and this retails for 46 dollars i don't really know much on it but this is what it looks like i think the bottle is absolutely gorgeous the bottle alone that ombre sunset effect that is just gorgeous so um ingredients listed on the side and then it's stuff about it in just about every language so it says into the glow brightening serum see fresh face wide awake radiance in an instant i'm not going to read all that it's a brightening serum so i'm pretty sure it's chock full of vitamin c and that's why it's in orange packaging the next item that ipsy chose for me which i was like come on ipsy boxy charm by ipsy they even redid the um beauty survey the beauty profile and you can even specify if you want a mixed box of makeup and skincare or if you just want makeup or if you just want skincare and i specifically make sure that i have that I just want skincare i made sure that there is no boxes checked for makeup but i still received makeup and this is the tasha denona alloy palette and i believe this was specially created for 
boxy charm by ipsy it's gonna be annoying saying that all the time i'll just call it boxy charm so this is what it looks like it is pretty but like i said i'm not wearing makeup at this time so it's kind of pointless so this will just go straight to my knees if you've watched my channel before you know all of my makeup goes to my knees super pretty colors three mattes and two shimmers but again this is, will go directly to my knees neutral um this really kind of feels like a fall palette well to me it looks like that but i guess nice neutral i guess for the summer it'll be nice although the golden tones i guess it'll work for the summer too so you know what? let's take this out the package so you guys can see everything that i got all right next were my choices believe it or not not a ton of skincare <laughs> So in the first choice, there was a Pacifica body butter and there was a um, face wash, which was fine. But um, the Pacifica body butter was just four ounces and I have a ton of face wash. So I didn't want that. So I actually chose makeup, not for myself, for my niece. And this is the Fenty Beauty Heat Gloss Balm Heat. Everybody talks about this and buys it during Sephora sales and whatnot. And it's the Universal Lip Luminizer Plumper in the fragrance of or scent lemon lava i'll show you guys what that looks like again this is going to go right to my niece it's just a glitterly glitterly a glittery yellow that was my first choice second choice it was skincare the rest of everything i got was skincare second choice it was between this and it was like some um i think it was a bobby brown eyeshadow stick I think there was like, was it mascara? It was a ton of makeup. I didn't even want this, but this was, I believe, the only skincare item in my second choice. I think there was like a setting spray in there, or an eye primer. This was literally the only skincare product in there, and I had to take it. I didn't want to, simply because it's just one fluid ounces. But it is a Fenty product. I don't know if I said this retails for $48, but this retails for um this was 24 this is 48 and this is 46 this retails for 42 dollars and this shocked me because again it's just a uh, one ounce of product but it's some sort of treatment it says instant retexturizing treatment so i guess you don't need much of it and it comes with the applicator and I guess the instructions are in the back. And my God, that font is tiny. Yeah. So um, I'm going to give it a try. I'll try anything for my skin. But yeah, that was the my second choice. And my fourth item in my box. Let's put this down here. And last but not least, I chose an eye cream. And this one, this also was the only skincare product um, available to me. Everything else was um, like lip glosses and lip stains and things. So again, this was the only skincare item available to me to choose. And that's what I chose. This is the Mud Masky uh, Moisture Boost Vitamin. What is this? I believe it's an eye serum. Yes, I actually received this in a, the Kind of Beauty box couple of months ago and this retails for $52 um, I already have one I haven't even used it yet so this will get passed along to a family or friend so the total retail value of my box this month was $212 I got the origins ginseng um, brightening serum the Natasha Denona alloy palette the Fenty gloss balm heat and lemon lava the Fenty Skin Pre-Show Glow Retexturizing Treatment, and the Mud Masky Moisture Boost Eye Serum. So yes, I thank you guys for watching, and I thank you for joining me. I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.